Actor Rob Lowe made a name for himself throughout Hollywood in the 1980s before becoming one of television's biggest stars on hit series like The West Wing and Parks and Recreation over the course of the next two decades. But just as remarkable as that run is, the fact that throughout almost all of it, Rob primarily lived in only one home, a California ocean view property that he and his wife Cheryl Burkoff spent four years building and the next two decades living in. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residence because it's not safe for anyone. Rob and Cheryl purchased their sprawling Cape Cod style estate located in the celeb packed town of Montecito in 1994 for just $2.2 million. Known locally as Oakview, this incredible 10,000 square foot megastructure is situated on top of a 3.4 acre lot. Its construction was inspired by the type of antebellum buildings you tend to find more commonly in the Virginian countryside with an exterior clad in white clapboard and accented with black shutters. This home was tailor-made for the Lowe's by a small army of designers like the acclaimed architect Don Nolte and feng shui expert David Cho, who teamed up with interior designers David Phoenix and Kyle Irwin to bring Rob's ideas to life, including design choices like the four door columns that stand guard in front of a Greek revival style portico that boasts a gorgeous black coffer door. On the inside of the home, the decor follows that same level of grand as the exterior. Pure white walls, hardwood floors, bespoke architectural details, and recessed lighting. The formal living room boasts an oversized traditional style fireplace with an elaborate all white mantle, as well as two charming chandeliers and a series of three motorized pocket glass doors that lead out to the patio. The room is also ample sized and bathed in natural light thanks in large part to those very glass doors. A little further away is the kitchen, which offers a luxurious amount of room as well as an oversized island that pulls double duty as a kitchen prep area, breakfast bar, and a place to house the dishwasher and oven. This space is lit with a ton of recessed lights as well as three charming pendulum lanterns that hang over the island. Other features in the kitchen include a tongue and grooved ceiling, plenty of cabinets, marble countertops, and chef's great appliances, including an industrial sized gas range. On those days that Rob was looking to entertain, meals were served in the mansion's formal dining room, a regal space that boasted tastefully coffered walls, custom crown molding, bronze wall sconces, as well as a jaw-dropping chandelier. And for even larger get-togethers, there's a secondary catering kitchen located in the basement connected to this dining room via an old-fashioned dumbwaiter. Of course, with a house this spectacular, each of the guest and family rooms come with their own ensuite bathroom. In fact, several of the upstairs bedrooms boast French doors that open up to a huge shared veranda that offers ocean views, seating, as well as billiard and ping pong tables. Then there's the elegant master suite with a fireplace, private balcony, and enough built-in shelving to make any book collector very happy. En suite also includes dual marble bathrooms and a boutique style closet slash dressing room. Elsewhere on the property, there's an approximately 800 square foot poolside cabana with a bedroom and bathroom located on the grounds, as well as a standalone two bedroom, two bath guest cottage. As for the grounds, they're gorgeously maintained and include lush gardens with multiple ancient oak trees, as well as lavender lined paths that lead down to a luxury 55 foot long swimming pool and a tennis court. Rob and Cheryl would call this place home for over two decades before deciding to live in June 2018 for a hefty $47 million. And while they wouldn't walk away with quite that much, they did eventually find a buyer willing to shell out an extravagant $45.5 million for their longtime home in 2020, making it the priciest sale this enclave has seen since Oprah moved in around 2001. What's even more interesting, at least for the purpose of our story here, is that after cashing out on their huge residence, Rob and Cheryl went on something of a shopping spree. Picking themselves up a series of 
four new homes over the next couple of years. So let's take a look at those now and start with their new residence in Beverly Hills, California. After making a total killing on the sale of their longtime home, Rob and Cheryl plunked down a comparatively small, but by no means tiny, 3.75 million on a much more contemporary home nestled into one of the ritzy canyons located above Beverly Hills. In fact, the Lowe's desired this recently renovated 1950s home so bad, they even went about 500k over the asking price. Securely located behind a high wall and well hidden from the street by foliage, this not quite 3,000 square foot, two-story contemporary home is less than a third of the size of their former Montecito place. Instead of a proper entrance hall, this residence features front doors that open right into an open plan great room with dark wide plank oak floorboards, a vaulted and beamed ceiling, as well as a huge carved stone fireplace. Over in the kitchen, expensive marble counters accent the all-white design that separated from the nearby long and slender combo living room and dining area by a huge island snack bar. Nearby are steel-trimmed windows that open to a glass rail terrace that floats in the surrounding trees above the backyard with a geometric pattern tile floor. The home's five bedrooms and three sparkling white marble bathrooms include a main floor master suite complete with a small balcony that overlooks the property's pool as well as a walk-in closet and deluxe bath with an oversized two-person shower. Elsewhere on the premises, the secluded guest suite is tucked down on the lower level and includes a spacious entertainment area that offers a wine storage nook and wet bar, as well as another covered patio with similar geometric tile work to the terrace located above. Then there's the rather unassuming exterior, which offers simple lush plantings, as well as a comprehensive lighting system over top of a flat yard with patch of lawn, a built-in fire pit with banquette seating, and swimming pool spa combo paved in mosaic tiles. As nice as this place is, it's unclear how much time Rob and Cheryl have spent here because less than a month after purchasing this one, they went and bought themselves three different mansions in their former neighborhood. In November 2020, Rob and Cheryl would drop $5.2 million for a brand new home in Montecito. This gated 70s era 4200 174 square foot mansion is a fixer upper that boasts three bedrooms, four baths, as well as nearly an acre of flat land. Painted a light shade of peach, the structure's exterior is paired with a gray shingled roof and olive green shutters. Inside, you'll find formal sitting rooms with hardwood floors, all white tongue and groove ceilings, as well as a traditional brick fireplace and series of picture windows that gaze out into the backyard. Besides the more formal sitting rooms, there's also a casual, cozy den that's covered in very 70s era wood paneling and a glazed terracotta tiling, including a sizable mirrored closet wet bar. Even though it might not be nearly as big as the kitchens in their previous homes, the one here offers a whole bunch of charm, including a slender island, antique appliances, and a dreamy eating area with more picture windows. Outside, the backyard is flat and grassy. There's even a small patio near the house that's perfect for some al fresco dining and an L-shaped pool just in case Rob ever feels like getting a swim in. Not that he would ever have the time because yet again, only a month or so later, the actor went and bought himself a brand new home. Again, in December 2020, he and his wife spent $13 million on a second property in Montecito. This one large and elegant, but also down on its luck that spans 6.7 acres total. The new low estate includes a man that was originally built back in 1925 and designed in the classic Spanish Revival meets Mediterranean style that's so common around Santa Barbara. The property also includes two detached guest cottages, both of which are now kind of ramshackle and overgrown with leaves. This property is locally known as Stonehenge and per the home's listing, it's in need of a thoughtful design build team that can come in to spruce the place up and bring it back to its former standing. I guess that's where Rob and Cheryl come in. While photos of the exterior portray a main house that could definitely use a new coat of paint, the interior of the home is still pretty well maintained with its original wood and tile work. There's a long entrance gallery that connects the property's various public rooms, including a fireplace equipped living room with mahogany paneling and a formal dining room with French doors and yet another fireplace. There's also a petite breakfast room with gorgeous views of the nearby garden. Meanwhile, the upstairs bedrooms are all spacious and 
offer their own private sitting areas as well as views that sweep over Montecito and the Pacific Ocean. The grounds include a grassy lawn, colorful bunches of lavender citrus trees, eucalyptus trees, sculpted hedges, plus man-made tile patios and covered patios for large-scale alfresco entertaining. Last but not least, in early 2021, it was reported that Rob dropped a colossal $29 million on a six-bedroom and seven-bathroom four-level beach house in an off-market deal. Sadly, as much as I tried to find photos and further info on this residence, it was an off-market sale that no one seems to know all that much more about. Considering how epic that last property sounds, I'm guessing that's where he and Cheryl are spending the bulk amount of their time recently, while the other three properties are probably being renovated as we speak to be flipped in the near future. But since this video, Rob hasn't even so much as listed one of them yet, so we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled to see what he decides to do next with his booming real estate portfolio. As for now, that's going to bring this house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought about Rob Lowe's many homes in the comments down below. Which one of his new Montecito properties would you most want to live in? When you're finished with that, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications before you head out. My name is Kara. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. And as usual, I'll see you in another video. Bye.